Knife Detector here, and check out this big, well, no, not, not particularly, uh, it's not very big, knife right here. And uh, it's only about two and five eighths inches long. This is one of those situations, guys, that's an eBay impulse buy. I bought this thing. I really thought it was about four inches long, and it was not. I thought it was four inches long in the closed position, but uh, unfortunately, as you can see, uh, I took a gamble and it didn't pay off. I did not see the dimensions listed on the listing. Uh, word to the wise, if you suspect something may be the case, then message the seller. I thought to myself, self, for sure this knife is four inches long or maybe a little less. I didn't think it was this small, but uh, I went ahead and I pulled the trigger on it anyway. Didn't pay very much. Got a good deal on it, but it's not my bag of apples, guys. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm probably going to list this up on eBay back right where I got it from. And uh, in case any of you guys are interested. So this is a video short, but let's go over this knife really quick. It's got this really cool little coping, coping bit blade, <laughs> sorry, that looks like it's had very little, close to no use, a uh, little bit, not too much. And uh, does have snap closed and uh, does have snap open, a little bit of snap open. No play on this blade, and that's pretty cool. Now, the big one on the other hand, again, just a little bit of use, not too much at all, still has the original edge, I think. Uh, it has a slight amount of play, nothing major, but it does have a little bit amount of play. Um, this is a Buck 705, and that little emblem right there, that little uh, arrow pointing up, uh, puts this at 1988 so this knife is from 1988 other than that it's a cute little knife to have in your pocket if you want to have something unobtrusive that's not going to carry too much attention along with it then this is the guy you might want to have i mean certainly nobody's going to feel threatened by this little man right here however you know if you want something a little bit bigger and you're used to carrying something a little bit bigger then this is not the knife for you so this was not what i was expecting so for that reason like i said it is going back up to the auction block on ebay and i'm going to start it off at what i paid for it i'm hoping i can get that so just an fyi guys uh by the time you see this video uh this probably will have already been on ebay for about one or two days if you don't see it there that means somebody already pulled the trigger on it uh, but I'm going to go ahead and list this one. And I have a few others I'm going to list. Uh, I'm going to list some knives that are going to be quickie videos first that I've had for a while. I've been meaning to list them for a while, but I haven't because I've wanted to do videos on them first. And I'm going to go ahead and do quickie videos. I'm going to schedule them. And then I'm going to go ahead and list these on eBay. So word to the wise, guys. If this is something you're into, tiny little buck, classic buck like this one, 1988, then... Uh, this might be for you. All right, amigos, this has been another episode of The Knife Detector. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. This has been another video quickie. Take care, amigos.